The ESP32 definitely is the better chip if we compare it to the ESP8266. Unfortunately, the installation process into the Arduino IDE was cumbersome. Until now. In this video I show you how easy it became. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. In video number 147 I showed you how to start with the ESP32. The installation process took a long time and was cumbersome. We had to use GitHub tools and other complicated stuff. And because the ESP32 software is developed at a fast pace, we had to repeat the process every few weeks to get the newest developments. Since last Sunday this is history. Since then we can install the ESP32 infrastructure precisely the same way as we install the ESP8266 environment. And here is how it is done. We go to the Preferences tab of the Arduino IDE and insert this string to the field Additional Boards Manager URL. If you already have a string for the ESP8266 in this field, just separate the two strings by a comma. Click OK and go to Tools Board Manager tab. If you search for ESP32, you find the package by Espressive. Please press install and you will get everything necessary. Today I got version 1.0.0 as a stable release installed. From now on you should get an automatic notification if they provide a new release. Cool! For the guys who already installed the ESP32 environment, I strongly suggest removing the old one. If you installed it according the instructions, you should find a hardware folder in your Arduino directory. You find the Arduino directory if you go to the preferences and search for the sketch location. Check if you have other folders than the ESP32 in this folder and if not, delete it entirely. It should only contain files from Espressive. Your sketches reside somewhere else. And if you want to use the latest development releases, you can change the string in your preferences tab to this one. For the moment both strings lead to the same version 1.0.0. But I assume this will change in the future. So let's quickly test if it works. We go back to the boards manager and find a lot of new ESP32 boards. However, I have many boards in my lab and so far I only used this ESP32 dev board definition. Of course you can use other boards definitions if you find an appropriate one for your board. This board definition uses 921 kV as default upload speed, which is nearly 10 times faster than the default upload speed of the ESP8266. You just select the port and keep all the other parameters as they are. If we press Compile and Upload, it compiles the code and uploads it to the board, just as expected. With this move and the low prices of the ESP32 boards, there is nearly no reason to use ESP8266 boards anymore. Except maybe the reason that you still have a ton of them in your lab. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.